Seems we're done in Canarak for now, so let's head on out and we're gonna go investigate a camp that hasn't been heard from for a while. We'll see what's going on with those guys. Um, I'm probably gonna make these a bit longer, guys, simply because this is a huge, huge game, so... Um, it's best if I cover it with slightly longer episodes. Um, they're going to be at least half an hour to 40 minutes, so hopefully that's alright for you. And, uh, you know, you can always fast forward if it's not. But yeah, it's, it's, it's just such a huge game that I really need to uh, cover it in larger doses. Oh, spider friend. Seems like um, uh, the mobs on hard mode get quite a lot of health, but no more shells. Uh, they don't really pose much of a challenge unless they're like all the way around you. <laughs> if you get surrounded, then you might be in a bit of a pickle. But... Oh, apparently it gets harder later on. Though. On the third year of passage, Tyrion entered Dalantar. In dark wood and fainy field she strode, until from wandering she was taken to the roots of mighty Velagru's child. So laden with Lyria's song, a greater magic known to none, she communed with nature's spirit, the name she sought was not found. So to the plains of Erethel travelled the Lyria-guided Tyrion. Wind chased her swarthy cloak and tresses, masked her against the moonlit plains. That ebon evening tide, that coloured shade that so long ago marked us, Tyrion marched against the celestial expanse. Beneath the diamonded sky, she found her rest. So many stones, here's another one. Lord Faradma, valiant warrior, destroyer of Enfamanir, Duke of the Hylarans, protector of the Ring of Kiozai, discoverer of the island of Meropis, were he only to meet a better end. That was short but sweet. <laughs> so, here's a new town. I'll do, well, village, I should say. But, uh, a couple of quests here. And, uh, investigate the Etonmere. And let's get these quests. There ain't no fish today, stranger. It's best you look elsewhere. Mm. Ugh, can't even look a fish in the face anymore. Not ever since I met that nymph. Oh. You met a nymph? I can remember when I first saw her, on the cliff to the south, overlooking Ettenmere. I saw that watery maiden and I fell in love with her. I've outlived my Imelda. My nephew Thaddeus up and left for Dyden Hill for want of never seeing me again. I had a chance of ending loneliness, but he was taken from me. The beasts of the wild scared her off. We were to wed by my peer, but I ain't seen her for days now. I'd search, but the monsters will rip me to shreds. I can kill those monsters. I bet you could indeed. But that's only half of what's needed. You must also find my bride-to-be. Then the wedding will be upon us. I have, I've got to find the ring. I, I need to find my bear mask. I need to prepare. You best start by the pier. If she's not there, keep heading south. She's bound to be somewhere. Go on now. I will ready myself for the wedding and then catch up to you. 
Okay. Please find my nymph. <laughs> okay, man. Only one head by the mercy of the gods. I thought my time had come at last. Fate does not seem to hold much stock in my expedition, but it leaves me alive to see its utter failure through to the end. What were you doing out here? I was leading an expedition to recover a pair of Arathi artifacts, known only as Shine and Shadow. I've spent the last decade researching them. Texts say the artifacts are powerful, but what they can do is never explicitly stated. Regardless, the Templars feel it best to place such items under their guard. But the Etin have hit us hard. And it's said that the artifacts are guarded in Delac by an ancient powerful shaman of their kind. I'm at a loss for what to do. I can recover them. I have not had such good news in some time. My research indicates that the artifacts are somewhere in Delac. It seems they're now a trophy of the Etin. I can promise you this much. Though my expedition was underprepared, it was not underfinanced. A large reward waits for one who finds the artifacts. Okay, will do, man. Wonder who's in here? Olmstead. Let's have a look inside. Oh, doesn't seem to be any, anyone around here. No. Alright, let's head and see what's happening to that missing band. Chest. Ooh, hard difficulty. Oh. There we go. It's nice you can swim in this game, you should be able to swim in every game. Very swampy around here. I wonder what kind of monsters are around. I can't go through there. Let's see, there we go. Almost there. What is that? <laughs> Scuffing crap. I'm right on top of the place now. Naming medallion. Looks valuable. What the heck is 
Oh. Hmm. Must be a way around. Ah, this looks like a likely place. the way. They don't look friendly, do they? It's good you're here. I was beginning to think you were just something I saw in the bottle. <laughs> Welcome to the ruins of Deloc. This is the place? Yes. It doesn't look like much, but in these ruins lies the Theater of Fate. The ancient home of the Fate Weavers. Come with me. No telling what we'll find down there. What is this place? Oh, never mind. <laughs> In we go. Oh, brief his term among our court. So virile in his living. He is fervent embodied. He is vitality. He rescued Princess Luna to take as his own. King of Strand. Prince of Passion. I'm thinking I need a new, new spell. Chain lightning sounds good. So my uh, my spells now do a uh, slight AOE. <laughs>
Ever since this place was abandoned, strange beasts have moved in. Stay close. Mm -hmm. This place has been abandoned for so long that some fate weavers think it's just a legend. I should use my uh, healing spells more. Use my potions again. I'm not sure which direction we're supposed to be going actually. We'll go this way, I guess. Happy there. Thank you. 
theater can show us the whole tapestry of fate laid bare. We can do nothing to change it or prevent its horrors. Well, most of us can. Any upgrades yet? the doorway. <laughs> what a surprise. After all those years of hiding in a bottle, it's good to see some action again. If only one last time. Saving my feet up for whatever boss we might encounter, whatever. Ooh, there's a lot of monks in here as well.
This is a real labyrinth, isn't it? <laughs> You know, man. I've seen this. This moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. Okay. <laughs> Where does all the uh where do all the enemies use um electricity? <laughs> I haven't spent anything in uh, anything else, so I wasn't expecting to meet uh meets, you know, guys that uh use all that apparently this guy only uses electricity just like we <laughs> Sword from it's a magical sword. Very nice. I'm still alive. He was supposed to. Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? I changed fate, right? You absorbed everything he was, everything he would do. You changed the weave of destiny itself. Because of you, there are deeds he won't do. Children of his that won't be born. Victims that won't die when they were supposed to. Yes, I'm aware. But there's still no telling what damage you could do if you aren't careful. Mm. You're much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away. What is this place? It's the ruins of the theater. I'm hoping that the stone will tell me who you... Fair enough. Going the right way, I hope. Give me a second.
theater of fate. I never thought I'd see it. Theater of fate. Nice. Cross this epic. <laughs> Well, he moves fast for an old coach. <laughs> this place is huge. We fate weavers never fully understood the power of this place. Seems there's a lot we don't understand. I should have brought another bottle. <laughs> another boss. Could be. Is that a mini boss? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And Iskaru found its way to this place of power. Everything about these ruins is dedicated to this room, and at the center of it all is the Destiny Stone. With it, the Fae taught the Fate Weavers the answers to the deepest mysteries of fate. Put your hands on the stone, and maybe we can find answers to your own mysteries. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can. The Destiny Stone came apart at your touch, and all around you the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. And there at the core was the Codex of Destiny, the wisdom that the Fae used to help the first Fate Weavers understand the nature of the Weave. Don't you see what this means? The world is changing. Yes, yes, it is. And from what I can tell, you're the one changing it. With every breath, you're changing how lives begin and end. The way the Codex of Destiny came to you out of the stone. That's got to mean something, too. But I'll be damned if I can read this thing. Mm. Is it dangerous? As dangerous as an open flame. You could help people or destroy them entirely. When you get involved, there's no grand cosmic <coughs> plan. Only freedom and all the dangers that come with it. And that means I owe you a... Wait. What's that? Purge oh, the abomination! In the name of Godflaw! Attack!
Who are you? How do I... I'm beginning to think that these Tuatha don't like you. Now why do you think that might be? After all, someone who can change the fate of the world, who wouldn't want you? How did they find me? <laughs> I'm not sure, but they're very well informed about your location. They came straight here from Diden Hill, but they're not nearly as interesting as you. Especially now that they're dead. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? I came to understand my fate. Ha! Knowing the future is for fools. Who reads the end of a book before it's time? Save your attention for the present. Like that codex you found? Our scholars thought those were all gone from the world. But you're just full of surprises. Good luck understanding it. That's fey knowledge. They don't even have a written language. The stone is simply embedded with what they know. Unseeable to mortals. I'm interested in the Tuatha. Why worry about the little fish, when deeper waters hold the more interesting secrets? There's more to this than you understand. I don't have the answers for you, but I know someone who might. When you're ready, meet me at the House of Ballads. I'm sure the Fae would love to meet you. Be on your way. Mystery helper is uh, she an agent for the Fae? Who is she? We can't trust her. Never met a Dark Far who'd give me a straight answer, even with a sword at their throat. Mm. Present company accepted, of course. But she wasn't <laughs> wrong about that codex. Just be careful doing anything she suggests. Meanwhile, we can't just ignore the Tawafa that are tracking you. We need to do something about them. Me friend. She said they came through Diden Hill, didn't she? They don't belong in these lands, so they probably left a trail wide as an Eden's backside. Meet me there, and we'll track them down. Maybe we can find out why they're after you, or at least how they can find you so easily. I've got some final rites to perform before I leave this place. Good luck. Gee, we leveled it again. Awesome. Sounds good. And, uh, yeah. I think we're going to put some points into... What do you reckon? Flame magic, perhaps? Um, the reason we're doing that is just so that... Uh, you know, have a, another option. Oh. Uh, use flame if the guys resist. Because, <laughs> you know, if I meet any guy who uses electricity magic, then I am screwed, pretty much. So, I don't want to be in that position again. Hey, how do we get out of here? The way out, it seems. We're done here, actually. I don't think there's anything else around to look at. Any other chests or valuables? No. I don't see any. Let's get out of here. No, oh, really? <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's anything. Come on, 
I was dodging. Daggers, though. It's a shame I don't use them. The apprentice necklace. Is that any good? Uh... Ooh, a mana. Don't mind if I do. It was a pretty tough fight though. That fire spell's really good actually because it does uh, damage over time as well. Ah, take a left on the way out. Right. I wish they put in those like shortcuts, but oh well. Ah, bingo! Right. We'll leave it off there, guys. Next time we'll be going to uh, help a few guys in the area. I think uh, let's just have a quick look at what we're doing. And it was like there's so many side stuff around here. 
This is what I was here for originally. And that's apparently just across the ways there. I'll just have a quick look at that. Because that was kind of weird. I didn't get that quest. I guess you gotta find out what happened. Ah. I don't have enough space. <laughs> I mean, just junk something. Just uh, drink some of these useless potions. There you go. Mmm, rallying cry. I found the remains of a warsome encampment. It's been destroyed by the Etin. A letter carried by one of the warriors detailed the mission where they were undertaking to kill four Etin shamans that were organizing the Etin into a war party and should complete their mission to protect the Dalin Dalintarth? Oh yeah, from the potential threat of the Etin. Yeah, okay, I'll do that next then. Is that in this area? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Oh, I guess we're doing that next. 